town divided by race and finger pointing. A teen accused of running over a black man and killing him while he was walking along a highway almost two weeks ago. 17-year-old Matthew Whitten Darby is charged with the murder of 61-year-old Johnny Lee Butts. Some people are said Darby Butts because of black. Now there are claims of death and intimidation. ABC 24's Jackie Roscoe is live in our operations center with what she's been able to find out on this. Jackie? Cameron, there were three teens in the car when Mr. Butts was killed. Darby's in jail. No other charges were filed against the other two. But here's where it gets messier. The mother of one of the passengers told us she's receiving death threats from Darby's friends. Those friends told me that's not true. We've had a lot of threats on Facebook, people driving by our house, squealing tires in the middle of the night right when we walk through the door. Um, and then yesterday, on the interstate, just pulling up beside me and giving me dirty looks, flipping me off. None of them have made any threats towards her or her son. Um, they haven't been riding by her house. They haven't been squealing tires. Mom against mom. She even went as far as saying that she called the police and said that she wanted them locked up. The cops have never been here. Hope Hopper took these pictures and videos because she says those teens were following and threatening her and her son. One of those teens' mother says it's the other way around. Miss Hopper was following them down the interstate. And I told Tyler at that point that just to get off the road. Hopper's son was in the car when police say Matthew Darby ran over John Butts. She says her son told her Darby did it on purpose and his friends are now threatening her for telling investigators. White teenagers throwing fits and acting ugly because they don't understand why they're friends in jail for murder. These guys here are friends with Darby. Hopper took pictures and video of them driving next to her in the interstate because she felt threatened. Well, I haven't been threatening nobody and none of us been threatening nobody. Mm -hmm. So why do you think she's attacking you guys then? I, I don't know. Senatobia police say there is no report about these threats. These guys say they just miss their friend Darby. It's one of my best friends in the world, Didi. And look at my skin color, so I don't know what really happened, but I just want my friend to be free if, if he is innocent. Darby remains in the Panola County Jail on a $300,000 bond. Jack Yorosco, ABC 24 News.